Hi there, students. There, but for the grace of God, go I. Okay, this is a phrase that you can use when you've avoided an accident or an unpleasant situation. And normally when you see it happen to someone else. So imagine you're crossing the road. And the person who crosses the road after you is hit by a car. You would say there but for the grace of God go I. So it's recognising that you've been very lucky. Now this is a proverb but I would have to say I think it's rather old fashioned or archaic. But I think you can still use it. Yeah. You're, by using this phrase, you're saying, I could also be, have been in that situation. That could have happened to me, but I was lucky. It actually says that if God wasn't looking down on me and looking after me, then I would have been in that situation. But I don't think people really use this in a religious sense, they say, wow, that could have happened to me. I was lucky. Imagine you're driving in your car and you are speeding, you're going too fast. And suddenly you see the police stop the car behind you that's also speeding. There but for the grace of God go I. Very often you could just say there but for the grace of God and you don't need the extra bit. Now, I'm sure you're going to ask about this inversion at the end, go I. Well, I have a feeling that this phrase, there but for the grace of God, it's a negative adverbial, and therefore an inversion with the verb. Yeah, hardly had I started work. Okay, negative adverbial. Now, the attribution of this one's quite interesting as well, although I'm not sure it's true. Let's see, this is attributed to a guy called John Bradford from Manchester in the 1500s. And when uh, Mary Tudor came to the throne. Okay, Mary Tudor, she's the daughter of Henry VIII. Um, she had a campaign against uh, people that were anti-Catholic, because she was a Catholic. She married Philip II of Spain, I think. Anyway, um, he was arrested and sentenced to death for being a rabble rouser, for raising a mob against uh, the against Catholicism, and he was sentenced to death. And apparently, he while he was in prison, he saw a group of prisoners being led off for execution. And he said, apparently, there but for the grace of God goes John Bradford. That could be me. And I think probably a short time later it was, because he was then executed. Uh, he was burnt at the stake. Okay, But we have this phrase, there but for the grace of God go I. This could have happened to me. I was really lucky. Yeah, the situation could easily have applied to me. Okay, so when you see somebody who something bad happens to them and you stop and you think that could easily have been me, this is the phrase to use. Remember, it's a little bit old fashioned, but I think you can still use it. Um, I think you could use this so in an informal conversation in the pub. Um, 
Could you use it in a formal document? I think you probably could, but you need to find the right place to use it. Normally, we only use this about ourselves. We don't use it about someone else. So you're going to have to find the right situation to use it if you want to use it in one of your writings. Yeah, There but for the grace of God go I. This is the way we normally use it, or there but for the grace of God. Okay, so a phrase or a proverb that says, huh, gosh, I was lucky that I avoided that problem. That problem that I see this person has could easily have been me. Yeah, so enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. There but for the grace of God go I.